What up? It's your boy, Luke for Prez, back again. Here we are. Hope everyone's doing well out there. Today, I'm going to be breaking down the latest chapter in the saga of my new YouTube channel where I have been posting beats every single day for 60 days straight now. We are officially past the 60 day mark, moving on in to month number three of this experiment. And we have more data to analyze. If you're new to the channel, please consider liking, please consider subscribing, hitting the little bell thing, leaving a comment, you know, all of that stuff. But in any case, with all that being said, let's dive into these results. So as you can see here, uh, I have the channel analytics tab pulled up for my new YouTube channel for the month of June, which is the most recent month of posts that I've been making. In that time, the channel received 532 views, 7.7 .7 hours of watch time, and 12 new subscribers. Obviously not ideal <laughs> by any stretch, especially when you compare these numbers to the first month that I was posting, which was May. I got a thousand views, 16 hours of watch time, and 37 subscribers. So we are moving in the wrong direction, folks. The data speaks for itself. Changes need to be made here, clearly. <laughs> you know, this speaks to the, uh, the big challenge that it is to build a YouTube channel from scratch because you try, you know, a, a whole strategy and then if you see that it's not working, you don't know what about the strategy is the reason for it not working, right? It could be one factor or it could be several, but you can't really know and hone in on exactly what's wrong without changing stuff up and trying new things. So my strategy going forward is going to be to change one or two factors at a time and then compare it to you know previous results and see if I can start gaining additional traction. So from month one, which was May, to month two, June, I didn't make very many changes to the strategy at all. I noticed in May that my number one performing keyword was young mall type beat. And the second most, uh, the second best performing keyword was Southside type beat. And those were both included in the title of uh, some of the videos that I posted, right? So that told me, all right, I need to post more of those. So I went from posting like three of those a week to four of those a week, right? Other than that, I really kind of left everything else the same. I made a couple little tweaks to keywords that I knew were like completely underperforming. Like I started with freestyle type beat, uh, that did not do well. So I replaced that with, uh, I've been making more like boom bap type stuff. So for June, I actually included Mac Miller type beat as one of the keywords and posted one of those uh, once a week. As you can see here, uh, one of them broke the top 10 in terms of performance for the channel uh, in the month of June. But overall, those did not do uh, very well. So if we take a deeper dive here into the analytics uh, from May to June, you just notice everything is down across the board, right? I was really pleased with the click-through rate um, in May, which was 14.7%. That's down to 8.1 in June. I didn't change anything about the thumbnails whatsoever. Uh, nothing about the posting frequency. Just again, I posted more of those Young Mall, uh, Pyrex, Whippa, Southside type beats. So that was really confusing to me. Um, and interestingly enough, the impressions were actually up. That was the only thing that was up. I got 4.3 uh, thousand impressions in May and 5,000 impressions in June, yet, the click-through rate is worse. The view from impressions is worse. I'm struggling to like make any sense really of these results. I think just more data is needed 
and two months is just not enough time to really have like an in-depth view of how this channel is going to work. But having said that, going into July, I definitely wanted to, you know, make some more aggressive changes to see if we can turn this ship around without going too crazy and changing too many variables at once. Because like I was saying, if you change a bunch of variables at once, it's difficult to know for sure which variable is actually making the difference, right? So I really only want to tweak like one or two things at a time as we go and, you know, make judgments based on that. So one of the first things that comes to mind in terms of something that I can change, and this is actually really surprising because the whole point of this channel was to like see what happens if I posted every single day, but I'm realizing now maybe the posting frequency is too much. You know, maybe you have to let your videos breathe a little bit so the algorithm can spend more time pushing it out to different people. I don't like, I, I don't know. I don't know the answer to that. I would need to speak to somebody that works at YouTube that could explain, you know, exactly how the algorithm works. Can they push like two of your videos out at once, three, four, you know what I mean? Like if you're constantly putting out new videos, does that actually work against you? So that's something that I need to consider going forward. Now, at least for July, I am going to continue posting every single day. And I still have, you know, 270 something beats that I can be posting going forward. So I'm in no danger of running out of beats, even if I continue with this one beat a day strategy. But that might be something that I need to look at and perhaps dial back at some point, you know? So that's the first thing that I really kind of considered in terms of what to change. But I decided against that for now because I think. I just wanna give this you know, one beat a day strategy a little bit of more time to actually gain some traction. So that brought me back to the keywords that I've been targeting. Another thing that I've always been curious about is the actual scheme of how you title your videos. I wanted to stuff as many keywords as I could in these titles, which is why for all of these videos, I included three different artist names. You know, we got Young Maul, Pyrex Whip, a Southside type beat, Lil Keed, Gunna, Lil Got It type beat. But the way that this is laid out, right? Lil Keed with an X and then Gunna with an X and then Lil Got It type beat, right? Like the type beat only appears once next to Lil Got It. So does the YouTube algorithm like read all of this as one keyword or is it smart enough to break down each individual one because in the description and in the metadata i do fully write out lil keed type beat gonna type beat lil got it type beat right but does that work against you right it, the reason why i did this is because if you search like young mall type beat pyrex whip type beat or any one of these most of the top search results include multiple artists in the title but maybe that's not the best strategy for a new channel maybe the only keyword that's actually like counting as far as the algorithm is concerned is the one that's actually right next to type beat in the title but then again that doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me because if you look at the best performing keywords, right? It's for at least for June, Lil Got It and Young Maul are the best performing keywords, right? But if we look back at the titles, that might not necessarily be the case either because, okay, yes, Lil Got It type beat was the number one performing keyword for uh, the month of June. But Young Maul was number two, and that's nowhere near the type beat in the key, in the title. You know what I'm saying? So like, does that really play a role? I don't know, but I wanted to find out. So that's one of the changes that I implemented going forward into the month of July, 2021. I am removing several artists from the title and focusing in on just one artist and Perhaps the biggest change that I have made and the one that I am most excited about implementing and, and cautiously optimistic that it's gonna make a difference is I have started to include long tail keywords in the title that are different from what you normally see, right? The normal title structure for a YouTube beat video is 
such and such artist type beat, right? It's obviously significantly harder to rank for those types of keywords because that's what everybody's doing. So I have decided to title my videos first and foremost with the mood of the actual beat, the main instrument present within the beat, and then putting like type beat or some other adjective before type beat that describes the beat that I'm posting. So an example would be like bouncy guitar type beat, for instance, right? So you have an adjective, you have the instrument, and then you have type beat. And I went into vidIQ and obviously those types of long tail keywords have less search volume, but there's also less people targeting them. So I am going to give that a try and I'm going to see if that makes any kind of difference in the performance of the beat videos. Additionally, at the end of the title, I'm going to just include one artist and based on the data from this dashboard in terms of the best performing keywords, um, that's gonna determine which ones I'm going to keep. So for the month of July, Lil Got It Type Beat and Young Mall Type Beat are the top two that I'm going to be posting in the title and that's it. I'm just gonna focus on those because those were the, the two best performing ones. So that's basically the strategy going forward. Long tail keywords, one artist instead of multiple, still posting every single day. And we're just gonna see how it goes, man. We're gonna see how it goes. We're gonna make adjustments based on that. But yeah, so obviously like this is not impressive whatsoever, but I'm always gonna be transparent. I'm gonna show you the good. I'm gonna post my, you know, million plays beat stars plaque, but I'm also gonna post this shit and I'm gonna show you, uh, you know, the L's and the W's and that's it. You know what I'm saying? So as always in the comments, if, if there's something that I'm overlooking, please let me know. I'm, I'm definitely interested to see other people's takes on this, other people's insights that maybe have had similar experiences. You know, hopefully going forward, we'll be able to hit upon something that works that I can, you know, implement and really kind of scale the channel up. So that's where we're at. I hope you found this video enjoyable and useful. This is what it looks like when you're posting one beat a day for 60 days to a brand new YouTube channel. And uh, yeah, that's all I got. So once again, like and subscribe. Thank you for your time. And I'll catch y'all on the next one. Peace.